Hello, I'm Ross Gant and I'm vicar of St James's Church in Rowledge on the outskirts of Farnham. Most people are not quite sure where Rowledge is, but if you've ever been to Birdworld, then you've been to Rowledge. I'm really pleased to be able to briefly share my own experiences of St Luke's as a vital charity supporting clergy and their families across the country in their physical, emotional and mental well-being. These last two years have obviously been incredibly challenging for everyone. For clergy, many aspects of our ministry have been seriously curtailed by lockdown. Church buildings were closed, home visiting became very difficult, and hospital visits and even funeral ministry were at times almost impossible. On top of this, overnight we've had to find new and varied ways of ministering the love of Christ to our communities. And all this has taken its toll on many of my colleagues. For me, lockdown followed what had already been a prolonged period off work with poor mental health. This was caused, as in so many cases, by overworking. I wonder how many of us buy into that false narrative that the more hours that we work, the more we'll achieve, whereas, of course, the opposite is usually the case. I was uh, trying to be all things to all people, which, as we know, is impossible. But the people I wasn't being anything much to were my wife and my two daughters. And so in conversation with Archdeacon Paul, he suggested that I spend some time with a therapist from a Harley Street practice. And all I could see was pound signs in front of my eyes and uh, any chance of a holiday fund disappearing out of the window. But Paul explained that there was a charity called St Luke's Healthcare for the clergy that had been set up to meet just such a need as my own. And so when I contacted St Luke's, they were extremely understanding and helpful and it was very quickly arranged that I should have uh, some fully funded sessions of something called compassion focused therapy. The sessions weren't easy. They involved acknowledging that as is so often the case with clergy, we spend so much tri time trying to be compassionate towards others that we are often anything but compassionate to ourselves. I've learned some important strategies to look after myself uh, and I think that my family has benefited considerably from the care I've received. I'm obviously not cured like us all, I'm a work in progress, but the positive developments in my mental health have been considerable. And this is thanks to the therapy that's been funded by St. Luke's. Sometimes as Christians, the last person we think that needs pastoral care is the pastor themselves. But the reality is that church leaders like myself are reliant on the care and encouragement and prayer of others to be able to properly care for those to whom we minister. I and many of my clergy colleagues and their families rely on the great work that St Luke's does. So during this St Luke's week here in the Diocese of Guildford, could I encourage you to explore how you might be able to support the continued work of St Luke's for the long-term benefit of your own and other clergy around the country. To find out more, you can visit stlukesforclergy.org.uk. Thank you for listening.